Well, good morning. It's Thursday and welcome to our daily prayers. One of the opening prayers I often use is acknowledging that the day lies open before us. And certainly for those of us who do this in the morning, it's a chance to see this day as an opportunity for us to sense God and to follow God in all those places he's guiding us. I'm well aware some of the rest of us will do these at different points in the day, maybe in the in the evening. Maybe this is a chance to prayerfully review the day and how it's been with God. And also with an eye to tomorrow to ask for God's help then. Let's pray now. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. We're looking once again at Genesis uh, 32 and we'll start today at 26. Another, our last look at Jacob as he wrestles with God. Then the man who Jacob realises is God said, let me go for it is daybreak. But Jacob replied, I will not let you go unless you bless me. The man asked him, what is your name? Jacob, he answered. Then the man said, your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have struggled with God and with humans and have overcome. Jacob said, please tell me your name. But he replied, why do you ask my name? Then he blessed him there. So Jacob called the place Peniel, saying, it is because I saw God face to face, and yet my life was spared. The sun rose above him as he passed Peniel, and he was limping because of his hip. Therefore, to this day, the Israelites do not eat the tendon attached to the socket of the hip, because the socket of Jacob's hip was touched near the tendon. In this account, Jacob is changed. He has a new identity, a new name, one who struggles with God. But also, as he comes out of it, he is blessed, but is limping. Um, quite a combination of different things. Um, he doesn't get everything he wants. We looked at that the other day. He doesn't hear God's name. But he nonetheless has a changed identity and he is limping. Very often when we come to God, we ask God to do one thing for us and we find it difficult when that doesn't seem to happen. But often the way we deal with God is more that we are changed through the circumstances we are in. And sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes we end up limping. But God is still working out his purposes. I wonder if you're ever like me and we're just looking for God's answers. Was well, actually God is also at work in changing us. Um, it can be hard. And there can be many challenges, but within it, we are beginning to change. Have you noticed that in your life, possibly particularly when things are difficult? Space for our prayers now. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and for evermore. Amen.